design that also will spit out arrows with everything else gears you up. Um, I think I've got it, uh, but let's get right into it here. So um, just press both of these buttons. You're armored up. You get your arrows, and you're ready off the battle. So uh, that's what it does, and uh, let's get into how it works. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I'll go with the uh, dispenser configuration. It's exactly what you had, um, but different orders. So um, the reason I had to go with the buttons was because to shoot out the arrows, unless you want to just stand on the pressure plate and decide how many arrows you wanted, um, this is the easy way to get a certain amount of arrows every single time. So um, this, is, this is how it works. So I press this button, and this one, this one, this one, and this one, they all fire off. So you're going to get an extra arrow anyway. But um, you get all your single component items. So um, that is just doing nothing back here. But in order to get the however many arrows, also configurable, you press that button, it goes down here to this. Um, this looks complicated, but it's really not. It's just like a, you can use any extender, like a. Uh, let's see, you can use uh, generic B's redstone uh, extender where it's like a line of redstone. And then you have repeaters on delays and then that. So uh, power goes in here and here. And this powers this and this. And it just keeps powering itself um, down the line. Uh, so it just keeps powering itself and it extends the signal, makes it longer. So um, that's basically what this is. This is just an RS Norlatch, where uh, it, uh, an easier version of this would be a uh, this, 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 boom, boom, where if a torch is feeding into another torch and they're just going in a circle, so if this one's on, that'll stay on. If that one's on, this will stay on, so it's just alternating. So this is just a fancy uh, length, uh, pulse lengthener. Uh, and this is feeding into, uh, this is the most compact way I could get it. Uh, this is feeding into a torch tree. Which This is the important part. Uh, to get all these arrows um, firing off at all you know, however many times you want them. Uh, this is what pulls, like you said, like you said, I, this is broken, where that just keeps updating this piston and it's powered. Uh, that is broken, but Seth Bling, uh, in his, one of his most recent videos, he had a, another, it's a very compact way to do this exact same thing. So uh, it's just, this is feeding into itself when it has power uh, it just keeps shooting out arrows, and very important, this has to be on subtraction mode. I don't know what that is, but thanks to Seth Bling, we have it now. Um, uh, let's see, and it's a little bit of testing. I mean, because if I delete myself, not delete myself. <laughs> if I get over my inventory, uh, there we go. We get potions, and it depends. There we got 14 arrows because the longer this signal is for all these repeaters, the more arrows we are going to get. And so that's pretty sure we'll get 14 each time. And one is from, oh no, they're all from this. One's from the original push, and then the next, you know, 14, 13 come. So if you want to lengthen it, you know, it's. And then all you have to do is add more repeaters down the line. And that should give us 
more arrows than just 14. Yep. Um, I haven't worked out how many more arrows you get. I'm not exactly sure, but I just keep experimenting. Uh, this is, I think, I mean, I'd, I'd love to use this. This would be really cool. Um, if I, I'll show you why I can't use the, this pressure plate. Um, so if you use the pressure plate, this, that does fire, by the way, if you have the pressure plate, but, and as long as you stand on this, it'll keep feeding arrows to you, unless you want that. I mean, they, you can get as many as you want until you stop, and it'll keep stitching. But, I'm not sure if you want that or not, but I like the uh, button idea as well. It gives you one of each. Stop. Let me delete this. And it gives you a suit up. That will give you the boots because the boots are right here. This powers that. This will give you that and all your arrows. Now this will give me 23 because I pressed this one first and that gave me an extra. Uh, this gave me an extra arrow. So, yeah, and I did read a comment saying, I mean, if you can get infinity on all the bows, that'd be brutal. But if you could, you know, it'd work. But uh, thanks for watching. I, uh, I think this is a pretty solid, solid answer to uh, the problem that you had. Um, hmm. Anything else? Uh, this, if you want to just copy, it's uh, this is the input output. Uh, this is on four ticks. These are both on one, uh, and I had to do this torch tree because I couldn't figure out how to invert the signal. Because if you put something like this, it'll just keep firing forever. So I had to invert it twice, and that fixes it. Uh, once again, has to be on subtraction. Lengthen it. Uh, to get more arrows and uh, the button is right there so it goes through this dispenser and then on this wire um, yeah, uh, could I do that I think I could I think I can move ah never mind uh, anyway I think this is a pretty good solution I think it's pretty cheap as well except for the repeaters which are always you know always a pain to make a bunch of redstone but uh, thank you for watching. I hope this helped.